this morning, the 37th, will be deployed on a precision strike. The known raider and pirate and submarine captain, known as Subskipper or Angry Subs, is currently moored in a neutral harbor where he has taken refuge from the international forces currently hunting him. We have made a deal with the neutral state as well as the superpowers who currently conduct a proxy war in the region that we are to be given free passage to engage and destroy the Morning. marauding ships. Our weapon of choice Morning. for this mission will be the L6 uh, glide bomb Morning. with the 500 pound warhead. Morning. This will be sufficient to destroy all Morning. four of the enemy submarines. Morning. The glide bombs will be guided to the target Morning. by a targeting pod. Morning. We will engage the data link and connect to the main tactical channel. Then we will be checking everything to make sure that we are good to go. And we are good to go. We will be departing the airfield at this time. We don't need the entirety of the airfield to make a decent takeoff, so we will simply use the part to the left of us here. Full power <coughs> to the engines. Lift off. Wheels up. Altitude, altitude, altitude. And we will depart for waypoint one. We have arrived over the target area, our targeting pod is online and weapons are in standby mode. We will be switching to the pod at this time. And we will be using the target of opportunity mode to guide our weapons onto the target. We will be uncaging the targeting pod and start our search for the submarine squadron that is our target. Once a submarine has been found, it will be engaged. However, actually pinpointing a target from this altitude it's not really the easiest thing to do either, so we still need to be mindful of where we are aiming our targeting pod. Of course, zooming out is the quicker way to quickly move the pod. I think we got something. It's a dark shape at the end of the pier. Yes, confirmed. We will enter a shallow dive to make sure that the glide bomb has enough speed and sufficient power to go towards the target. We will also reduce engine thrust so the speed remains somewhat constant even though it will be increasing through the dive.
Weapon is away. I say again. Weapon is away. We are adjusting our course to come in for another run and retrimming the aircraft to compensate for the weapon deployment. The LS-6 is having an easy time with this target. It's essentially just a shallow dive right onto the objective. And just like that, angry subs got a whole lot angrier. We do have eyes on a secondary objective close to the primary one and we can also with the naked eye see the other submarines currently moored in more secure areas so we will be doing a right hand turn so that the glide bomb is not overly disturbed by the smokestacks from the other destroyed submarine there is, of course, the risk that uh, angry subs or subskipper will be trying to take his submarines out to harbor. And hopefully he doesn't have the manpower for it. Since it's Sunday morning, we can expect most of his crewers to be hungover or still in town on leave. After all, subskipper do not anticipate us striking his position in this manner. We have a clear lock on the second submarine. Glide bomb is away. We will be retrimming the aircraft and we will be coming around for another pass. While it is possible to launch several glide bombs at once, this is not something we should be doing. Currently, the glide bomb seems to be determined to head in another direction. Hopefully, it can be gently persuaded to go towards the primary target soon enough but if it doesn't we are going to have oh that that was where the problem is the problem was that we actually had we had marked the new target but we had not actually locked on it which is a bit of a problem in and currently we now have a rogue glide bomb as a result Hopefully, said glide bomb will just hit the water and not, you know, the housing complex is right there. The neutral nations will not be happy with us if we manage to cause collateral damage. And it will make more operations like this more difficult in the future. However, a glide bomb in the water is most likely going to be j rightfully just ignored. But it looks like it's heading towards the water for self-destruct, so we should be good on that. This does, however, mean that we will not be able to destroy all the primary targets. Locked. Weapon away. This means we will not be able to destroy all of the primary targets, but reducing uh, subskipper's uh, submarine force to one is going to be sufficient as long as we do indeed hit the rest of the targets as well. But the second, the third glide bomb is currently on target, so it will be yes. That is one less submarine for subskipper. We'll be coming around. And engaging the one of the remaining submarines. We are currently moving the targeting part information more towards where the other submarines are moored. However, we did manage to move it a bit too much, so we will be moving it up. We have a lock. Confirmed. 
Last glider bomb is away and we are heading back to base. All weapons have been expended. We'll simply have to watch through the targeting pod to see if the glide bomb will be neutralizing the target. Yes, the glide bomb has indeed neutralized the target. So that's three out of four submarines destroyed, and if Angry Subs was not angry before, he will sure as hell be so now.